Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, we are sitting in a dark room looking at a screen. What are what, there, there's Everyone a road can see our screen. And it goes it's to a long road. It looks like it's in Montana or Alaska. Is that the Rockies? Or maybe uh Aren't uh, these the Rockies? It could be anywhere from the Rocky. From Arizona to Colorado. And we know mm. that it's two oh seven on March first. It could be two is it two o'clock in the morning? I, I can't tell. No wonder I'm so tired. Yeah. This or is you could also be sick. This is Windows 8 Consumer Preview. It, it is. Uh, I think it's just the Consumer Preview. There's is no it the, are they going to do more? Have they said they're going to keep no. going? Oh, I see feet. I see a shoe. Uh, blue shoes and pink so shoes. So the Windows 7 Consumer Preview came it's, out. Hey, Norm, it's 208. Oh, well. It was released uh, this week. Yeah. And you can download it right now yeah. uh, and install it on your existing PCs that's exactly or laptops. What we did. And that's what we did. We have yeah. it installed on a laptop. Uh, we don't have it installed on a touchscreen enabled device, so it's not an all in one PC, it's not a tablet. This is a straight up Lenovo laptop that we had running Windows 7 before. This is mainly because we don't have a touchscreen enabled device in the office. Correct. Okay. Uh, but it's in I mean, the intent is that you can install it on like a Samsung Series 5 tablet and you'll get all the touch functionality. Uh, yeah. But with the keyboard and mouse, we'll show you how that works. This is the lock screen. So uh, the lock screen pretty. hasn't changed. So did you take uh, this picture? Or no, did this, this come with this, it. This came with it. Okay, is it the default, or does it cycle between different ones? Uh, you can choose. It does not cycle. Does it ask you what your mood is, and then it gives you no, a wallpaper to suit your mood? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, so this is the lock screen. If you hit Windows L, is what it comes to when you start your PC and you have a password. Uh, installing Windows 8 Consumer Preview on top of Windows 7 was actually really easy. Uh, you download the the package. Uh, it asks you what files you want to keep, whether you want to keep the programs or whether you want to do clean install. Yeah. We chose to keep everything, keep a couple of our files. It's a relatively clean PC, um, so it wasn't a problem. And so if you want to install it on a PC that you use as your primary computer, you can do that, and it won't okay. get rid of your stuff. Uh, there Hold will be some driver compatibility, of course. Hold on, now, it'll wipe... It wipes out Windows 7. It does wipe out Windows 7. Some of your stuff will continue to work, but like your, antivirus your and all that files, stuff will obviously not yeah, work. Your personal files will be there, the stuff that's in your libraries in Windows 7. The applications that you've installed, the, for the large part, most of them will be there. Desktop yeah. applications like Photoshop, Word, um, all that stuff is there. If, oh, whoa! Hold on. I, what the, if, uh, you're thinking about, if you're thinking about doing this on your computer, there are princesses there. Yes. Kind of I, 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 I skipped a little head. Wow. But, okay, if you want to install this on your... You should test it out first. Test out the yeah, stuff you use first. Exactly. Because like it, it, a lot of stuff doesn't work right. It's obviously a beta still, even though they're calling it consumer preview. You shouldn't put this on a production machine unless you know what you're getting into. Um, why are there sassy princesses so on this computer this screen? This is one Norm? of the ways you can unlock your PC. You can have your password, so you can type in a password. So this is I can just do the password. Okay. Which hey, we all know your email address well, now. Well, also I'm LL Cool J. Yeah, why are you LL Cool J? Uh, it's a photo I had. Or you can do a four pin. Why? Code. Why do you have a photo? Four digit of LL pin. Cool J. Because I took it. That's I took that photo. Why does it not give you buttons for the four digit pin? I, I don't know. That's weird. Um, maybe because it knows I have a keyboard attached. Okay. Or you can do a picture password. Can, can your voice be your passport? Your vo voice cannot be the password. Aww. And uh, they got rid of the whole idea of a live account. It is now just a Microsoft account. So. Um, the picture password, you set it up. I can show the setup process later, but you have a picture, and then you can click faces, three faces, and you click three of them. Only three? Only three. So that means there's one, two, three, four, yep. five, six, seven faces there. Yep. That means Guess that my password, there are well. seven, to the, seven times six times five yes. uh, potential passwords. That's pretty good, Yeah, I, I, I didn't try a very dense, like, I could have tried a crowd picture. Um, did you but. go from least favorite to most favorite, or most favorite to least favorite? Most favorite to least favorite. I bet that you went with, uh, is Cinderella the blue one or is that Sleeping Beauty? I was Cinderella gonna is the blue one and Sleeping Beauty I bet Beauty's. blue is number one. Okay, I'm going to click blue, so click the face. Okay. One. And then I think uh, Tinkerbell is number two. Okay. And Ariel, the little mermaid, is number three, even though her eyes are closed. And... Oh, damn. Okay, what's your password, Norm? All right, I'm gonna sh my password is one, two... Can you click Three. on something other than faces, or does it have to just? It, it prompts like, you, you to on do boobs? faces. It prompts you for oh. faces. Hey, the beta fish is back. Yeah, it's a deconstructed beta. It is. And That's really cool. It also is this eight in the back. Oh, dude, I totally love this. This is this is this is nuanced and clever and nice. So and the bubbles make an eight too, but it's upside down. If you down. remember, oh, I didn't actually didn't notice that. That's actually very clever. Uh, if you remember the Windows Seven beta. Uh, the wallpaper was a. Uh, oh my God! There's two more eights on this a, screen. A beta fish. There's an eight on Windows 8 Consumer Preview, and there's it's built eight two five zero. Amazing. Um, Eights everywhere. And the wallpaper, default wallpaper for Windows 8 Consumer Preview, is this uh, construction paper so that beta fish. Reminds you that it is always beta. Yes. 
so let's go over, over the desktop stuff first, yeah. because that's what most people uh, who use Windows 7 right now are used to. Hey, where is this, where's the start button, Norm? There is no start what? button. What? So you have your, your taskbar. It's the same taskbar as Windows 7, and you can pin stuff there. I have you know, Explorer, IE, Chrome, and Photoshop pinned there. Okay. But in the corner, no start uh, menu button. Where's the start button? And Wait. If you hover over the bottom, you actually that, get the start screen. Is that a live preview? Screen. Is that actually a smaller version of what your start menu looks like? No, your it start is not. Screen? You want me to check? Yeah, let's check. Okay. I was going to show it later. I guess it is. It's blue, purple, red. Blue, purple. Yeah, it's the okay. same one. Oh, that's cool. Or okay. uh, at, at first glance, it seems to be. Okay, so this is the desktop. Yes. Um, so the death of the desktop has been highly exaggerated. Yeah, if I, if I open, Whoa. I can do instances of Explorer. Oh, my God. Explorer is still there. You have libraries. Uh, now, you notice Arrow Chrome is a little different. The edges. Yeah, it's very square. Uh, it's very square. It's All the it rounding. Actually, all, yeah, all the, it's still transparent or translucent, at least. So if you hover, you can actually see a little bit of the translucency um, right here. Yeah. But it's not curved edges. Uh, it is a little more opaque. Wow. And actually reminds me, uh, it's, I think, more in line with the design sense of the taskbar. So the taskbar and the arrow and the Very, cr their chrome is it's unified. It's kind of hard edges you don't find in nature. No. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about this yet. But the actual menus, so this is the, the ribbonized explorer. Ribbon. And one of the things they did, uh, let's just go to like downloads or desktop. Uh, you can still, you know, right click and, and view, you know, your standard details. Yeah. View. You have a preview pane here, which you what, get rid of. Uh, details is my favorite view. Detail, yes. Uh, I can get, or I can just have. Look, no, you could have just clicked it in the ribbon. Yeah, There's plenty yeah, of space dedicated to that. Lots of ribbon stuff. Notice on the top here, in every new window I open, um, there are two icons up here. One is properties, and one is new folder. Probably so when you two most frequently. Use uh, okay. So click on click on uh, computer and then click on the properties. Okay. So if I click computer here, it is exactly. What okay. You so expect. it's like a right yeah. click properties. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. And because it saves you a couple of steps, right click, scroll down, click properties. I'm, I'm like my my muscle control is it makes it real fast, but having it in that top corner it makes it a little easier. I mean, it's it's kind of a small button. Um, I think you can still collapse this ribbon. Yeah, though. that's the arrow on the right. No, no, no. There's a oh, right here. Right, yeah, yeah there right you there. go. That'll shrink yeah. it up. There it goes. And so this is something that looks that's more much familiar. Uh, so when you click on one of those, what does it do? Blow it it's out. Actually, yeah. it, it pops now see that's it down. a better mode. That's mo yeah. that's modal, and I like that. Yeah. I think that's much better. Uh, this takes up a lot of vertical space, having the full menus yeah. up there. We only um, have a few and so pixels. one of the things they're pushing is that it's now a little con more context context sensitive. Wait, so what's with the music tools thing up there? Th exactly. So. For example, if it knows that I'm in a folder with music, for oh, example, is this your this Rebecca music, Black folder? Uh, it'll have a music tab, and I can play. There's play options. Wow. Um, and if it knows that very it's in a you know, file, uh, folder with uh, photos, then it'll have a pictures tool So for rotating Wow, that is, yeah. OK. I mean, nothing special. This is kind of already in Windows 7. Did this pull exit clearly... data right so that the images were rotated properly when you imported it? Uh, I don't know, because I take most of them. Uh, you know what? Yes. It looks like it is. Yeah, yeah it is. usually Windows yeah. doesn't do that, right? I guess. Um, cool. So that's that's a good thing, I suppose. OK, here's the photo. Um, and so explore largely. Hold on, but go, go back to the music tools and the photo tools thing. Sure. That music tools thing is something they've been pushing since like Windows 98 yep. or ME. Yep. I have never ever used it. Never, never played anything from Explorer. Right. I've never I in Windows ME. I mean maybe ME, the preview or something, but not it ever. It was kind of annoying cuz sometimes it would get things wrong. It would always think that like my my folders were of albums of yeah. music, and it would try to display them like with thumbnails and I didn't want that. I just wanted this I want details for everything. Um, yep. and so you had to manually change that. Are the details context aware? Like when you go to the music folder, does the de do the details give you? I don't um, think so. Well, let's go see. So, oh no, here are details contributing oh, artists yeah, that's and good. album. Um, doesn't show me duration. Which sometimes I want track number. Seems like it would be a good thing to have. Yeah. Is this an album you ripped or bought? Uh, oh no, there goes track, oh, yeah. track okay. number that's right. and that's title. Okay. It sorts the wrong you way. You can still you can you still think, move that around. You would think it would sort the. You can add you first know, one first. Every, every, first. nothing is removed. Guess the album really is dead. Um, so that's those are the big explore changes. Uh, anything, um, hold on, what's the the bottom right? There's the bottom a, right. Yeah, there's okay. a. So that's thumbnails. Oh, okay. Instant so hit, thumbnails. Oh, giant or thumbnails. Okay. Details. Oh, I like that. 
because that's a, that's actually a good change because those are the two views that I switch between. Yeah. If I'm in a folder video, a, fo a video or picture folder, I use the big one. If I'm in an anything else folder, I use the details. Do you here. remember when uh, X or uh, Vista came out and the bottom uh, extra info was default off? Yeah. And I always you want to turn first on, thing go, you do you go edit and show those details and that's default on. Um, go to uh, right click on Comic Con. Okay. Uh, okay. Go to properties. All right. Oh, and it pops right up immediately with how big the folder is. That's good. I didn't have to do the calculation. That's yeah. something. Okay. Um, can you... Uh, and um, again, you can still customize to show what type of files are... Yeah, that dialogue that's been there for 10 years exactly. that nobody ever uses. This is... Um, Why well, use the fix the problem? Uh, right, find a shortcut someplace and right-click on the shortcut. Okay. Oh, open file location. Okay, good. They kept that. They, that carries over as well. This is a, uh, well, oh, hit application tools. Let's see what's in there. That looks interesting. Application tools. You were, when you were on the Google Chrome, in the, in the top. No, no, just left click it. See? Oh, here. Okay. Oh. Well, when it notes it's a shortcut, I can run it. That's something. You can pin it to taskbar. Huh. That's not bad. And, and at shortcut tools. So the context aware stuff isn't just photos and music. It's a yeah. bunch of other stuff, too. Can, oh, that's cool. Find the location. Oh, yeah. That's good. Where the shortcut points to. Especially for games and stuff, that'll be useful. Yeah. Dump straight into the Steam folder. Okay, I, I'm. Oh, yeah, hey, and, and there's a wow are, helper are, here. This is good. This is good stuff. That's okay. Um, another big change, for example, copying stuff. Okay. So if I uh, copy this, and I'm going to create a new folder to put it in, um, the copy. Uh, oh wow! Is different. Now, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, but fewer. Is it default to fewer details? Yeah, yes. probably. And then more details shows the average speed. I presume this is more accurate because this is the most inaccurate thing in Windows. Um, well, it's the most inaccurate thing in every OS, in fairness. Ooh. And resume. And if you disconnect from the network and reconnect, it'll pick back up, right? Yeah, and I'll tell well, you where the original place. Watch this, and I can stop it, right? And I'll do it again where I can copy, Control C, Control V, and I think it'll, when it runs into. Um, the conflicts, the conflict resolution uh, dialog box is also different. I want to see that. Um, so we'll let this run for a little bit and bump into the, the conflicts. Um, and then, of course, the big thing, control shift escape, opening your task manager. That also is a little different. Now, why isn't that popping up? Oh, there it goes, task manager. Beta norm. Yes, it takes a little bit. So uh, here go all the processes. Blow this out just a little bit. Shows you your CPU. Oh my God! Processes. There's another eight. Wait, no, you just missed it. And it Windows 18. processes shows disk usage, memory it, usage. I this I think is a really uh, nice improvement. I mean, Task Manager hasn't been changed for a long time. Can you sort uh, sort by that stuff? Performance, memory. This is all neat stuff. Yep, and also data usage. So, for example, how much each program, how much data each program uses. Oh. And over and how much CPU time. Huh. Hey, Pinball FX2 is in here. Yes, that comes default. So, yep. So, for example, Inner Explorer has yeah. used 76 megs. And I've, it's been on for that long. Or it's used that much CPU time. Huh. Is that 5 minutes and 54 seconds? Of, I think so. Or 5 hours, 54 minutes? Gotta be 5 minutes. Yeah, 5 minutes, 54 seconds of CPU. Huh. Okay. Uh, go back over to that Processes tab on... Oh, on sorry. Control Shift okay. Escape. Okay. Oh, uh, so when you set up this machine, no, no, the process is the first one. Okay. Uh, can you sort by sort by disk use? Oh, cool. Okay, so so if, so this is good. One of those things that's always bugged me about Windows is if you have like something running in the background that's hammering your hard drive, and you hear the clicking, mm -hmm. you yep. can't actually do anything to find out what's causing the what's causing that disk use. So this is this is this stuff is good, or it's a little tricky to figure that out. I mean, you can do it, but it, and this it is takes relatively effort. easy status. Yeah. I like the overall usage percentages there too. Anything else in this? The users pane is different, I think. No, just a little bit. Uh, well, it shows if you have multiple users yeah. on a system. Uh, and app history, that's where you can see how much. Oh, we've already looked yeah, at that, I guess. Better. Yeah. Details, and this is more traditional. Yeah, look. that looks very familiar. Um, when you set up the account on this, did you have to put in? Do you have to associate with a live uh, Microsoft I did. account? I did. Okay. So it is my microsoft account and then it supposedly um, is going to sync settings and stuff like that yes. across yep. through skydrive okay neat so it's not running into the conflict right now you know what it'll if probably I, save it for the end i'll just stop it and try it again see if it just pops up and clearly it should oh 
Well, this is awesome because every time you do it, we get to start over and wait another yeah. four minutes and thirty. No, just leave it running in the background. I'll just leave it'll, it running in the background. It'll get red. It'll pop up. Yeah. So that's the change to the desktop. Otherwise, that's it. Is it is the recycle bin the same? Right click on recycle bin. Yep. What was that? What was that thing? Uh, on the top? I'll, I'll oh. tell you what that oh. is in a little bit. But I'm confused bin. and scared, Norm. Nope. It's all the same. I don't like. I mean, go to properties. Let's make sure. Get okay. deep. Got to go deeper. Okay. Yeah, nothing's different. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Uh, uh, can you empty the recycle bin? I want to hear the if it's the flushing noise is oh the same. Goodness. I'm just I just want to make sure everything's uh, you know on the up and up. No, no noises. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, I guess it's Mac that does the flushing noise. Yeah, no. Nope. Um, anything new on the taskbar in the in the system tray and all no, that the, stuff? No, this stuff isn't the stuff. That's Lenovo stuff. That's stuff, Lenovo right? stuff uh, that just got imported over when I up, updated. Um, so a lot of people were afraid. Okay, start menu's gone. Yeah, I'm right? terrified by that. Uh, what did we use a start menu for, really? Uh, let's see. I could go to control panel and mm -hmm. computer management there very quickly. So imagine, like, what's the process? You hit you hit the start button. So I'm uh, yeah. there right now, which is and then I go over screen. to computer and right click and go to properties right. or manage that, my computer. That you cannot do. With uh, if I wanted to go to the downloads start. folder, yes. then I would go over there and mash the downloads button. Right. That was pretty much the only thing I ever used to start. Menu now for. they encourage you to open up in Explorer and then go, you know. Because you can still pin apps to the taskbar. You bar. can, can pin, pin as many programs as you want to the taskbar, uh, shortcuts, whatever. Really? Um, like what happens if it fills all the way up? Does it put scroll bars on either side? No. I, don't, uh, I, I think I think it does. May, it oh, doesn't shrink them down. I've never put more than. Eight yeah, I put items like eight or ten at most. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the start screen because okay. that's what's the big. That's the difference. So start screen, you can either go to the bottom and hover. Okay. And hit that or hit the start menu. What if your keyboard button. doesn't have a start menu? Is it time to upgrade your 25 year old keyboard? Probably. Okay. Yeah. So, so this, this is the new is thing. This is the start screen. This is, looks very Metro y. Yep. This is Metro. Um, and Look if, at how if it were touch, static, these then tiles these are. are all big enough to touch the fingers. Uh, right now, I could have to scroll. I don't want to alarm you, but for something that's supposed to have a lot of really active, interesting tiles, well, there's the, only the, the one leather. that moves. There's stocks yeah there's music okay uh, if i had mail then i would have messages hmm. um and the photos did you not hook it up to your hotmail account no it didn't, it didn't, i don't have a hotmail account oh um okay i'm gonna show you the interface stuff first yeah so if you're in here so imagine you're on the tablet um i had to basically use this imagining that i was on a some type of tablet pc uh they, they're, there's multitasking so basically if you come in from the Whoa. left side either from the top or the bottom you have the different uh, Metro apps or desktop apps. And actually, the desktop is considered an application now. So you click that and you pop back to desktop. So is Windows a shell for this, or is this a shell I, for I, Windows? I, I'm not sure. It, it's crazy. Um, um, if you're on a touch device, you just swipe in from the side, yes, I think, to make exactly. that. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh here it goes. OK. So uh, you can replace, you can skip, or you can choose. I'm going to choose. And then so you have oh. matching all the du all the, the duplicates. And then you can check the box to you skip 2167 with the same date and size. Yep. And oh then, my god. Yep. Sure. Why not? Cancel. That Cancel. is fantastic. So th the conflict resolution stuff is a little better. Uh, back to start. So yeah. on the left side, if you swipe in from the left, uh, you get the multitasking. This is your stuff go. that's running in the background. Yes. And notice when I'm for, for example I'm in the weather app right now. Yeah. There's no way to close the weather app. It's all full screen. It's all full screen. There's no X or anything. The way to get out of it, hit the start button. You're back in the Metro start screen. So what if your start button stops working? You're pretty boned. You're pretty boned. Yeah. Um, but devices will have physical start buttons. Are they, hold on. Go back, into the, go back into the weather thing. OK. If you move to the lower left corner, does it pop up the start menu? Lower left corner? Yep. Yeah. OK. Absolutely. So that's the other way to get yes. back. Because Microsoft stuff, there's always two or three ways to do oh, yeah. everything. So. So um, we go. It looks like there's other. This would be. This would be. Whoa! Uh, this would be touch interface to so scrolling to the left, or the right. Why is this? Why is it? Why is it? Why can I see part of the next screen on my first? Why That's part of the Metro language. That, oh. Yeah. Um, that looks like a you mistake. Hover to the right. You get uh, the charms. Okay, I like so, charms. So uh, you get the, the date and time stuff. You get settings. Uh, go again, to the You can also go back to the start from if, there. So, so that's the third way. Yes. So if you click. The start button, it'll just swap it'll swap between your last use app. Hold on, but go go back to the weather and then hit the charm again. Okay. Go back to weather? Yeah. And then hit this charm? Yeah, does that take you back to the start yeah, menu or does absolutely. that put it on the start menu? No. This okay. takes it to the start menu. And this is the last it's just hitting the start key. Can you deep can you deep uh, And the settings would be these are now the weather settings. Okay. So this is basically your like 
Android. That's universal, right? Universal like, notification okay. uh, settings for brightness. Power, for language, brightness, language, volume, volume, wireless notifications, notifications. notifications. Flip it on and off. Or go more PC settings. Is that, hold on, is notifications there turning on notifications for this app? Or no, turning on notifications over, in general? global, global okay. notifications. Uh, if you, for app specific notifications, you go here and you can turn them on and off for, for, for each app. Oh, that's interesting. So these, this is the, the Metro control panel. Um, what you'll be using on tablets, you can personalize your start screen, your account picture, you know, you can have a different background. Why did you have a picture of LL Cool J? I, 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 because I saw him outside a hotel and I said, you're LL Cool J. And he said, I'm number one. And I said, and he, wow. He, was, you were like, can I take a picture? Yep. And I took a did picture. Did you take it with the Sony or with your iPhone? No, with a DSLR. Okay. Um, so you can adjust for search, what will be indexed for search. Um, the settings are all very standard settings. Probably more than you, what you'll get on the uh, iPhone, comparable to what you get on Android. Windows Phone, it's very similar to Windows Phone 7 if you use that. Huh. Your devices. Oh, so those are, hold on, go back. So that's everything that it sees on the network. Mm -hmm. So that's a, yeah. a camera, uh, pr uh, your, your uh, mouse is mouse, plugged in, and a printer, printer that it doesn't have a driver yeah. for. Yeah. Huh. Oh, and this is interesting. So the metered internet connections, this is another thing that's new. Mm -hmm. So when you're connected to like a MiFi or something like that, you can mash the button and it will... Um, it won't let you download software. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it, on the meter connection. There's, well, it, it behaves differently on an API level too. So apps will behave differently if it thinks right. you're on a metered connection, which is a good thing. So airplane mode, of course, important. If you're on tablet, I should probably turn this that is, off. This is very, um, this is very tablet y yeah. for Windows. Oh, yeah. Settings to sync with SkyDrive. So is there a traditional control panel still too? Are there going to be settings in two places? Yes. There are settings in two places. So oh. This is the Metro control panel. Oh, that's now, terrible. Now, remember when I asked earlier, uh, if you're on desktop, so desktop is an app, and you want to traditionally use Start Menu to search for stuff, right? Yeah. So I hit the Start button, and I start typing, like Control so Panel. So type Control Panel. It Whoa. Will have, Why are there two results? That's a good question. Click on there the second one. There are two apps named Control Panel. Okay. Four settings. In control panel. Whoop, and oh, there now we go. Device you found manager. Um, let me try that again. It does save your searches. Control panel. And uh, you can click or files. Click, so, on, click on the second one. And this okay, is now go panel. back and click on the first one. Okay. All right. Why did I click the second one first? Because I wanted to. It's, it's the same, same thing. thing. It's the same thing. It's indexed oh. twice. So this is the more traditional control panel, and you can actually, I think, view this in the. Yeah, view by. View. Uh, uh, be my icons. Yeah. Uh, that uh, looks exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Search is actually uh, pretty nicely done. Uh, I was worried about uh, Metro search. So go um, back and search for panel. I want to so see what comes up. You can use a shortcut. You can do uh, Windows Q, which will bring up search for Whoa. apps. Windows F, which is search for files. Um, but why would you do this? We can just hit Windows exactly. and type your exactly. stuff. Exactly. Like search for search for. Do you did you name those Comic Con folders? Comic Con pictures. Yeah. So for example, I searched one was called Saturday. Right? Okay. So search for Saturday. And then, no, nothing, nothing. Didn't find the folder. Wow, really? Let's try Friday. Cause, nope. But if I do Friday, comic. Friday. Wait, no. Nope. Really? Oh, no, oh 834. There it goes. It just took a while. So search time. for panel. Panel? Panel. Yeah. Yeah, hit app. Uh, and you have apps. Okay, so it's picking up apps. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, it, like, we searched a little while ago, and we searched for a word inside a word, and it mm -hmm. didn't do that. But it, it does find yeah. standalone words, which is a good thing. Other quick shortcuts applications. Okay. So, search is okay. Um, let's go to IE. Okay. Because this is Metro Inner Explorer. And this hey, is the IE that you'll be using on a Windows, uh, Windows 8 tablet. Because um, there's not going to be a desktop IE on Windows 8 tablets. Uh, I, th I, I think so. It's, it seems like they've gone back and yeah. forth on that a few times. Yeah, so uh, right now the, the address bar is on the bottom. Um, if you right click, you get your tabs. Okay. So you can create new tabs. I can pop up and go to something like Boing Boing. Um, and like with that weather, other weather app, you know, there is no Chrome around it. Um, you, the entire frame of the browser is You're gone. saying that this is Windows without Windows. It absolutely is. Um, it's, a little, it's a little freaky. Like Websites look different without you know, the buttons, without, a, without buttons anywhere. And this actually disappears. 
So you're just browsing a web page. Do you think this is this is something they're going to really push hard, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I kind of like this. Yeah. Do you use the full screen mode in Chrome or Firefox I don't. ever? I don't. Yes, yeah, neither do I. Yeah. Sometimes on the laptop. I mean, but you still have your tabs. You can't open multiple instances of Metro IE. Like you can't have multiple yeah, windows fine. with tabs. Um, but and you can do you know you do all your pin favorite stuff. There there are settings. Hit the ellipses in the top. That's. Uh, in private tabs, clean up tabs, that just deletes private all Private tabs is the, is the porn mode yeah, and clean up tabs. It's the shopping for your lady friend mode. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you get settings, so if I go People here, go to the filthiest sites to shop for their lady friends. And you have your IE settings, and then you have, uh, you know, your basic settings. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go back to the start screen and open another application. So we can run through uh, a lot of stuff yeah, here. Yeah, let's go through the interesting um, stuff here. Maps. Let's see maps. Okay. Well, let me show you weather and uh, or music. I, want, I actually want to show you music. You just want to show off how cool you're tasting. Whoa, this looks like Zune. It, it's very Zune-like. Uh, there are three apps here that are basically How do you pronounce Xbox this? Live. Is, is this like Bon, bon Iver or no, whatever? No, this is Dead Mouse. No, I know, but is it a crazy pronunciation? Why is it mouse? It's a five at the end. Well, he's crazy. So it this is the playback dead tool. Five. Uh, it works very well. I'm playing music. So what's cool here is that I can, this is a good place to show off multitasking. Now, the Alt tab again, or the way to switch between apps, is to go on the, the left side, and I can actually snap my web browser Wait, to what? the right, or distribute it over to the left, oh. and now I have, uh, for Metro style apps, they're designed so they can take up uh, two thirds of the screen, and I have my music here, and I have Basic functionality. So you could open like a Twitter app or something like that. Or over messaging. There I am playing. I am. Or you know, email. Play that them. while you still get on this side web browsing. Now you don't have an email address that works with. The I don't email have mail set up, unfortunately. They, yeah. Um, there, it's really limited mail support in the built in mail app yeah. right now, is my understanding. This isn't perfect. For example, if I uh, go to desktop, it will think the desktop is an application, so it will only take up two thirds of the screen. This is yeah. not what I want. Desktop should always be full screen for me. Uh, but it's easy to fix that. But also, if I, for example, change volume with the hardware volume buttons, it knows I'm playing music, and I get that cool, this cool pop-up. So I like I can, that there's stuff that pops up. I, I mean, I like that that Metro stuff looks really finger-friendly. The desktop does not look particularly finger-friendly. No, and because we don't have a touchscreen, we can't really test that, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I'll go through a bunch of the, the programs. So let's go to store. Let's go run down everything. Uh, this is the Windows uh, 8 store. Um, it looks a lot like uh, if you use an Xbox, like the design language of the new Xbox um, well, it's, interface. Well, it's the same thing It's Metro. They pulled it from yep. Windows Phone and Xbox. Everything and here is going to be now, free so. for now. I downloaded a few apps. Installation process is really simple. For example, here, uh, this is a program, and then I can just install. Oh, man, Davey showed. It will just install in the background. Updates, installing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Install in the background. I can jump back here. Uh, I'll go to Maps. Uh, not all these programs have a one-third mode. Uh, okay. Like, for example, the web browser doesn't, IE doesn't work great in the one-third mode. It will show the entire web page, um, but it doesn't work great. And this My is understanding maps. that that's up to the developers to support. Yes, yeah. Um, and it's weird to have a Maps application. I mean, it's just basically a frame for the website for being Maps, Yeah. but it's built in. Um, we did IE already. Good. Xbox Live Games. Wait, so I like games. This is interesting. You can Mass control effect. your Xbox with your uh, Windows tablet or PC. Really? Like, um, how so? I can do that with my iPhone right now. Yes, it's basically the same thing. you got to turn on a setting on the Xbox, and um, I can... Uh, Show us downloading something. Oh, God. My Xbox isn't on at home. I'm not going to buy anything. Oh, oh, oh. I, okay. let me... I don't mean that. I mean download something for the, for the PC. Okay, so I think... From the Windows game marketplace yeah. as part of Xbox Live Games. Let me see what picks for me. I have both oh. these games already. I think there are only two games. Oh, and the, I got a oh. notification. That's what notifications look like. It's a nice sound. That game is installed. Both these games are already installed, so I can't mm. install them. They'll just launch the game. I can, I can, maybe it can buy. Or it'll tell me I already have it. Oh, so it just brings me to the store. There you go. I'm back okay. in the Windows store. They're just connected. I mean, same thing with music. Music, if I go out, this is playback. If I go out, it basically looks the same. The playback is on the bottom. Um, and you can go buy stuff and yeah, see your own collection exactly. from there as well, I'm sure. My collection should be here. It didn't index the folder I had, and it'll have a spotlight. It's all tied to your Microsoft account, Xbox points. Same old, same old. 
And photos does it, is a little, okay. Yep. Does it pull that stuff, it pulls the metadata from your, from your ID3 tags, yeah. I assume, right? Yeah. Videos are the same thing. Um, you can rent videos here, show your collection. I don't think this is as nice as the Zune uh, standalone no. desktop app was, uh, which there's this continuing. Um, Movies Marketplace, for example, oh, I want to go back to that preview. I can play this on my Xbox. Say so play on Xbox, and uh, it will try to connect to my Xbox and show me virtual controls. It won't connect right now because my Xbox is not on. Oh, or it is. Okay. Is it playing on another Xbox? No, I think it's my Xbox at home. Um, I and I can play it. Works. It'll basically pop up. Uh, you can use it to launch Netflix and stuff, and I can pop up Xbox controls and freak people out. Probably playing Jeff's Xbox in the other room right now. Maybe that one behind us. To get Weird. back from the start menu to the desktop, uh, Windows D okay. pops you there. Windows D traditionally in 7 uh, was show desktop, but now showing desktop means actual show showing, desktop mode. Showing the desktop so app. So hit Windows, Windows D, Windows, Windows D. I foresee myself using this a lot. So that was Windows. That's desktop. Photos, uh, a little different photos because you can tie it to Flickr and Facebook. So right now, and pictures library, that's pleasant. Um, this is just that Comic-Con folder, and it's kind of weird because it's not a great way to view all your, if, if you have a folder with lots of pictures, like 800 It's hard files. to believe that a, a thing designed for a tablet wouldn't be the best way to view a whole shitload of pictures. Yeah, and then... They're popping up an unfortunate amount, too. Uh, if I want information, I can, you know, set a lock screen. Those are really good costumes. Yes, they are very good. And I can do a slideshow. Oh, and you can set it as a lock screen from right here. Mm -hmm. Can you deep link into tiles from this like you can on Windows Phone 7? That's one of my favorite things about Windows Phone 7. What do you mean? The fact that really... I don't have a SkyDriver flicker. Um, set up, but so if you go to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Facebook. <laughs> and it's just a Facebook album, Excuse and it just me. synced with Windows 8. With Facebook. Um, so if you click on... Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think what, what would be applicable here. Can you deep link the weather to the like the weather for a specific region or something into um, uh, onto a home screen tile? Like, could you say put the weather for Pacifica or put that Doppler radar map onto a home screen tile? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe? I can add locations here. If that's one of the neat, like on Windows Phone 7, if you have like RDO or something installed, mm -hmm. you can deep link to a specific playlist. Like if you always like to listen to a specific playlist in the morning, then you can do that. If you have like a workout playlist, you just put a tile for that directly mm. on your home screen, which I find very convenient. I don't, I don't know how to do that right now. Okay. Um, I can make these smaller. What's messaging? Is that SMS? That is uh, MSM Messenger or Facebook chat. It doesn't have many services. It's very useless that right now. Neither of those sound very exciting. Yeah, but it does. It, it's one of the few uh, applications where the, uh, the interface, uh, obviously the Snap stuff doesn't work when I want it to. Um, that's another thing I've noticed. Snapping is not perfect. What no. do you mean snapping? The snap left, snap right, one third view. Oh, right, right, right. Stuff. Um, Two. Excuse messaging me. works well with that. Two. So it does come with solids here. Here's what solids here. Oh, bless you. Sorry. The triple sneeze, still, still is pretty sick. No, um, I'm just Solitaire sneezing. on Windows 8, it's a little different than the Solitaire you'd get with Windows. There's Pinball, but Pinball is not, not that great. And it's not even loading. Oh, okay. ESRB for Solitaire, wow. I, I like the days when Windows 3.1 or 95 when you can just click Solitaire and it would load and you could play Solitaire. Sol.exe. And now it's this fancy wow. Solitaire with Xbox Live. It doesn't really look that good. It's the pictures are all weird and it's really slow and it's crashed awesome, awesome. this was yeah this is a great demo oh huh? yeah camera doesn't work right now because uh, there's no camera on that device oh uh, i guess there's a camera there is a facing. camera uh it does come with a pdf reader um is it an actual pdf reader or is it, it is the actual, actual reader? pdf reader hey reader. this this is yours uh-huh well, actually this isn't even yours this is what that's I the found. death star 2 but one. it's a a massive pdf file and i just wanted to see if PDF it's an 80 meg pdf file right yep huh that's cool so, again, you have lots of settings and, and stuff. Um, and as you add more shortcuts, it just fills up. And you get more and more pages. Yeah. You can also group them, too, right? So you can, like, you can put them in groups and name them and stuff like that. Like, if you go over to that second group, uh, go pull down the bottom context thing. Yeah, no, that's right. 
No, you can do all, it can shrink out and you, uh, all apps. No, but you can also make groups of apps. So go to yeah, the... I can, I can move it to yeah, a there you group go. like that. If I want only my desktop stuff there, I can group And I up. think you can even name that stuff, but I could be wrong. And then you can zoom out. I think out. it's in the, it's in the, yeah. If you have, so you can move this around. How do you, how do you feel like this works with the mouse oh, name, name group? Point. There you go. That was easy to find. Um, how do you feel like this works with the Windows, uh, with the mouse and keyboard? So um, this is the way 90% okay. of people are probably going to access I, I don't this. like the scrolling stuff. The drivers don't work for two-finger scrolling. So, for example, when I'm in IE and I want to, oh, now it's working. It wasn't working oh, before. Oh, that's good. Okay. Nice to know that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's still not as smooth as I'd like it to be. And I don't think it's a problem with the trackpad. Yeah, that There's, trackpad is pretty good in Windows 7. Well, not bouncy is probably a, a software design choice right. that is, is informed by patents. But that's um, basically a Windows 8 consumer preview. And the calendar stuff, I assume you haven't yeah, set up. Yeah, calendar is just, here's your calendar. That looks like a calendar-ass calendar. Yep. And so, for example, if I create a new calendar event for today, test, test, save, um, I can, if I can get this to work, this will be a... I can have it in my one-third view. There it goes. Snap left, and I'll have the list of your appointments for that day. I just don't find this one-third, two-third thing particularly useful. Well, because I'm on a laptop. If I was on a tablet, and I wanted to have IM on just my left side of the screen and web browsing on the right, that's incredibly useful. Maybe. Or music. Like, right now, know. if you're on your iPad and you want to change a song, you have to do the double tap, bring up the bottom, you know, bottom one-fifth or one-eighth, and then swipe over, and then you can only go left and right, but you can't click no, the no, specific no. I, song. No, no, I understand. I'm just, I just, I don't know. I don't think that having music controls is enough of a, is it worth the amount it's of space It's more for just music controls. And, and keep in mind, uh, these tablets are all going to be 16 by 9, not 4 by 3. Well, that's true. And so in landscape so mode, then that you, have that that extra, you have that extra space. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so this is uh, Windows 8 Consumer Preview. It's available now. If you're thinking about installing it, please, 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 uh, you can't uninstall it when you when you put it on the machine, so you have to wipe the machine. Uh, so make sure you back up your stuff before you install it, because something. I mean, it is beta software. Stuff could easily go wrong. Um, make sure you uh, you back everything up. Um, anything else? I'm, I know I'm forgetting stuff uh, that's important with this norm. Apologize, I'm getting a little delirious. I really don't like that at all. That that split on the yeah on the desktop. On desktop. The when desktop. you when it's in the two third one third, can it, can you split stuff over or no? What do you like, mean, can, can you, you scroll swap? over on the desktop? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Well, of course. So like it hides working. it hides a third of the desktop behind the other bar. Oh no, it just compresses it. No, it doesn't. Because look, oh. bu bust out with something in a third and let's let's see it. Okay. Of course. Okay. Snap left. Desktop. Nope. Compresses it. Oh, okay. So when it was snapped on the other side, it, it covered up the system tray. Oh, interesting. Oh, see, so yeah, well, that's, now, now that's it's bad. Weird. That's not good. This is not how Windows was supposed to run. Yeah, no, I, I'm interested in this. Like, it, the thing is, the thing about this, after seeing it a little bit, I'm going to take it home and, and mess around with it some, too. And oh, I also want to say uh, the two-thirds, one-third stuff, the snapping only works if you have a resolution of 1366 by 768 or higher. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. 7, 1280 by 720 screens are boned. Yeah. Um, after seeing this, it, it's, it's a profound change to Windows. So, like, you're not going to be able to look at this and tell if you're going to like it or not. You're, you're really going to have to sit down and give it a, a good old honest try. Um, it seems to me that if you're the kind of person that just mashes the Windows key and types what you want to launch it, or puts everything you need in your, in your taskbar, uh, you're not going to notice any difference at all between this and Windows 7. Like, from a, from a, look, there's more 8s in the background there. There's 8s everywhere in here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do, do you agree or disagree, Norm? No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm really excited for this on tablets. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really curious to see how people react to this on desktop. I do not. I think this is a very dramatic change, and they're going to there are going to be complaints. Um, well, we but, won't know until it actually comes out, and we're hoping yeah. by the end of the year. Um, if you have questions, more questions about Windows 8, post them in the comments below. Um, we'll do our best to answer them. And, and we'll have some Windows 8 stories coming later this week or early next, right, Norm? Yep. And. Uh, until then, uh, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.